Welcome back tonight. I'm obsessed, really obsessed with what happened in Montana last night and the creeping sense that journalists are now fair game, not just for verbal abuse, but physical assaults as well. Yes, President Trump and his conservative amen chorus are partly responsible for this reprehensible trend. But let's not pretend they started it. This is a cancer half a century in the making. President Nixon unleashed his vice president, Spiro Agnew, on reporters almost 50 years ago. Agnew famously called reporters nattering nabobs of negativism. That was, of course, speechwriter William Sapphire's phrase. And pusillanimous pussyfooters, that one came from Patrick Buchanan. These days, those clever alliterations seem quaint. We've now moved from blame America first to blame the media first. It matters when candidate Trump encourages his supporters to beat up protesters. It matters when another Nixon alumnus uses the appearance of journalism as a vehicle to attack journalism. It matters when so many members of the president's own party can't bring themselves to condemn the condemnable, can't bring themselves to criticize a man running to be one of their colleagues for assaulting a reporter, actually a fellow American. Can't bring themselves to find a response beyond simply blaming the left or coming up with some mythology about the media. You want to rage against the so-called liberal media? Fine. You want to send off a juvenile tweet? Go right ahead. But let's at least draw the line against physical violence and even the threat of physical violence. Look, the media are not blameless in creating our polarized environment, but there are plenty of elected officials and paid political consultants who are way too eager to exploit misplaced anger out there to make the media look bad. I've been looking in the mirror and plenty of my colleagues have been looking at the mirror at our coverage, but elected officials and political, paid political folks, particularly on the right these days, you look in the mirror too. Greg Gianforte's attack last night is a dangerous moment, a milestone in the war against facts and the people who report them. But even more toxic is the conspiracy of silence among those who should know better. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.